What's up? Back at it again. It's been a minute, man, since I made another video, but I'm gonna make one today just for the hell of it since I'm driving on this freeway in good old sunny California. I'm about to slide out here and go fix something on the job. Um, man, always stay hustling, man. Always stay on the grind. You know, don't ever stop doing what you gotta do to be successful in life. If you if you got your 10 toes and 10 fingers, or even if you don't, you know, you got a mind to think, to do things that you need to do in life, then you just do those things. Don't never make up excuses of why you can't do this or why you can't do that. Don't ever let life hold you back on anything that you have to do in life. You know what I mean? Because if you do, you the only person you hurt is yourself. Remember that. But I think the thing, the main reason why I turned this camera on today, I just wanted to just talk about how I feel about certain shit. Like me personally, man, I, I don't. I, I, I like women. I love women, you know. But man, being in a relationship with one, me personally, I ain't got time for that shit. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't got time for that shit. You know, me personally, I don't got time for dealing with no insecure woman that want to argue and bitch and talk shit about certain things that I do and how I carry myself in my life. Like, I feel as a free thinker, I'm always going to feel that I should be able to be free to say what I want to say and do what I want to do. Now, if I'm in a relationship that's gonna hinder me from doing what the fuck I wanna do. And I'm gonna be unhappy. So if I'm unhappy, I'm gonna get out that relationship. So I'm wasting my time and I'm wasting that person's time that I thought that I wanted to be in a relationship with. You know what I'm saying? I like, I, like me personally, I, I, I like living by myself. I like living by myself because it's the most peaceful peace of mind that I could ever have being by myself. I don't have to worry about being obligated to accommodate and make sure that somebody else is all right in the same household that I'm in. I don't have to deal with if that person had a bad day or a fucked up day or a good day or if they going through emotional distress or problems, I don't have to deal with none of that shit, you know? So if I have my own issues and my own problems, I can just deal with those issues and those problems my goddamn self on my own. I don't have to worry about arguing with somebody about tissue paper or I don't have to argue about who drunk all the juice or who ate the last ice cream or, you know, just stupid shit or why the kitchen ain't clean or why this is this and why that is that and why you coming home so late and where you been all day and why you ain't answering your phone and man, I don't see how people can live through that shit, man. Because me personally, man, I couldn't live my life like that no more. I refuse to put myself in a situation like that to where I have to feel that as a grown man I have to explain myself to a grown ass woman who all in all want to control my life but don't know, want nobody to tell her what she needs to do with her life you know in two miles keep left on to CA60 West toward Los Angeles I love it, you know? I can come and go as I please. I can do whatever I want to do when I want to and how I want to. If I want to have female company over, they can come over, kick it for a little while, go home and go on about their business. Ain't no strings attached, ain't no commitment, no nothing. You know, I ain't got to worry about no problems. I ain't got to worry about, you know, nothing. And I don't want her to worry about nothing. 
You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be in a relationship with strings attached. I don't, I don't. I, personally, man, I just think it just ain't for me. You know what I mean? I, t I tried that shit over and over and over again, but I'm so self-centered and I'm very stubborn. I, 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 there's no, there's no woman on this planet that can deal with me. Because I'm not taking no shit from nobody. And, and I refuse to take shit from somebody, especially when I got one life to live. Every second in my life, even like I'm talking now, these are precious moments in my life that, I'm, that, that, that I take the time out that I have to live with every day. I'm not gonna be in, in no situation where I'm stressing, I'm depressed. I'm sick. Keep left onto CA 60 West toward Los Angeles. Angry. And I'm going through all these emotional roller coasters day in and day out. I'm not putting myself in that situation, man. You know what I mean? In 13 miles, take exit 10B towards Santa Anita Avenue and South El Monte. for another uh, adult. I don't want to deal with another adult's uh, bullshit. I don't want to. You know, I, I, I like being free. I like getting up doing whatever the fuck I want to do when I want to and how I want to. You know, people tell you that, oh yeah, you, 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 People, people feel like they have to have some type of status. Like they gotta have a relationship or they gotta be a part of something. Man, just love yourself. Find out who the fuck you are first. You know what I'm saying? Like you be on social media, you see so many people jumping, jumping in and out of fucking relationships. And then when, they, when you call them out on their shit, they wanna get mad at you for all the, all, all the motherfuckers they been sucking and fucking on. I mean, shit, you put that shit out there, now motherfuckers wanna know what happened. Now you wanna be mad trying to tell people to mind their own fucking business. Well, you know, your motherfucking dumbass putting that shit out there when y'all was so happily in love and together and, 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 and it's such a happy place, you know? Only you can set yourself up for disaster. You know what I mean? I mean, if, if people, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not telling people not to be in a relationship. Because if you want to be in a relationship and you feel that you don't want to be lonely and all that shit, hey, that's on you. Do what you do. I'm just telling you personally from my experience. You know what I mean? The, the things that I've been through. Because you know, I've been in some in my day. I've been in some fucked up relationships. You know what I mean? I've been married. You know, that didn't go too good neither. You know. But when you when you when you when you get back to life and you finally learn who you are and you get to learn to love you for who you are and love yourself, man shit. It's hard to get into a relationship. You know what I mean? Because you finally get to the point in your life where you are actually doing things in your life that makes you happy. The things that satisfy you. The things that please you. The things that make you feel good. You know? Because you learn how to love yourself. Ain't nothing like learning how to be in love with you. It's like the best thing that can happen to you on this planet, man. You don't need nobody to accept you. You can accept yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say, you came in this earth by yourself, you're gonna die in this motherfucker by yourself. So you don't have to be in a relationship if you don't want to. You know, you don't have to be pressured to get married if you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but a contract with the state that you live in anyway. It don't say in the Bible that you gotta have a piece of paper to sign just to be joining with somebody. 
So then when you decide you want to move on and you sign that contract and you got to play their rules, what the fuck they going to do? They going to tell you what you can and can't do with your own shit. They going to tell you what you can and what you can't do with your own kids. Why? Because everything that you do, you sign them away anyway. Once your kids is born, you sign them away to the state or the government on a birth certificate. Once you sign a contract with the state with the marriage license, that means you give them all rights to intervene, interfere, and be all up in your shit anyway. Who wants to live like that, man? You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. You can, you can still get married and have the ceremony and jump the broom and all that other shit without a, without a license. Only motherfuckers that want the certificate of proof is the women. Because they know nine times out of ten, if if, if if their man is the breadwinner and he fucks up, she knows she gonna fuck his ass in his pockets. Cause she can always move on. As long as she got a pussy, she can always move on and go find another man. That's easy. You know what I'm saying? They do it all the time. Look at these uh entertainers, man. How they how they how they how they play, how they jump in and out of different relationships with all these different actresses and actors and superstars just to be heard, just to be seen, just to be talked about in the news. But actuality, they don't really love those motherfucking people, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like you can say like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yeah, maybe back in, in 2003 or 2002 when, when he was hollering at her and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure back then he was like, yeah, that's a bad motherfucking female. I'm finna get her. I'm finna do this, I'm finna do that. Fast forward that shit like 17 years later, I bet you I bet you he don't feel the same way that he felt back in 2003. You know what I'm saying? So then people wanna criticize him or her for having infidelities with other people. But man, fuck all that shit. It, 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 you don't have to be with the same motherfucking person every day if you don't fucking want to be. Fuck that shit. I wouldn't want to be with the same motherfucking woman every day. For years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. Me personally, man, that shit would bore the fuck out of me. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it works for other people. Maybe it don't. You know, maybe I just haven't found that right woman that could make me have a different perspective and a different change of mind to not think that way. But until the meantime, ah oh man, I'm gonna stay who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? I like dealing with my females with no strings attached. You know what I'm saying? I ain't your boyfriend, you ain't my girlfriend. We cool with each other, we fuck with each other here and there and everywhere. And that's how we fucking keep that shit. You know what I'm saying? People be like, oh, well, what about A's and what about this and what about that? Hey, as long as you know, every day you live your life, every day is a risk. Every time you live your life, it's a risk. Whether you're having sex, whether you're getting in a fucking airplane, whether you're driving a car, whether you're walking up the street or down the street or riding a bike, or even working at a job. Every day, you put your life on the line. Every day is a dangerous day. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, you just can't base everything on just one thing. But you know, people will always try to go against you, contradict you, what you say, and how you feel. But as long as you be yourself and stay true to yourself, who gives a fuck what they say? Because I know I don't. I don't let nobody predict my life. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like when I work for my job that I'm working on now, this is contract shit. I'm working for a contract. I fulfill my contract with this company and then I go home. 
And then when I go home, I run my own business. And I be my own boss, printing and pressing my shirts for my clients at ITA Grind Time. You can check me out on Facebook too, it's ITA Grind Time. I-T-A-G-R-I-N-D-T-I-M-E. ITA Grind Time. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I stay grinding, man. I stay trying to trying to trying to make money, you know. And there's other ways to make money, you know. I'm trying to get into, uh, you know, some of that embroidery shit with the hat stitches and the shirt stitches and the patches and shit like that. Then after I do that, I'm gonna try to get into some uh, some notary shit too, you know. And then I'm trying to get into some, you know. Some, some stuff that my that my homegirl Christy Brown was is doing, you know, traveling agency, you know, just different shit, man. Just, 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 you know, your hustle and your grind is up to you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to do some shit with my life. I'm trying to better my life more than what it is now. I'm trying to advance more. And, and you know, being in a relationship, I ain't got time for that shit because. A woman is gonna need her time and her attention and all that other shit. And if I'm a workaholic and I'm grinding and hustling and, and I got clients with that want 100 t-shirts done or 200 t-shirts done and I gotta hurry up and do that and then I gotta take a shower and get up at four o'clock in the morning and go to the job that I'm at now and handle that. And I ain't got time to really talk that much or text that much, it's gonna be a problem. And then if I'm in a relationship, nine times out of ten, whether a man got good dick or not, she gonna cheat on me anyway because it's always gonna be some dude that's gonna be trying to serenade my lady and telling her, oh, he ain't doing this, he ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? That, that wouldn't be like that. I do this and I do that. And a lot of women are so easy to be manipulated, they'll fall for that shit. Then next Stay in the left three lanes. You know what I'm saying? Would I be mad? No, nah, I wouldn't be mad. Would I be upset? Nope, I wouldn't be upset. Would I try to kill the bitch? Nope, I wouldn't even try to do that or hurt the dude or none of that shit. I would just move on with my life. Why? Because I'm a hustler. And I got shit to do. I got money to make. I got places to go. And I got people to see. And I like living my life free. And I like living my life just the way I like living it. You know what I'm saying? I live for me. I live for my kids, I live for my mom, I live for my family. That's what it's about with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna ever let no female take me out of my game. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm getting ready to kill this video and shit, man. But, you know, I just, I just wanted to tell people, you know, find out who you are first. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to keep jumping in and out of different relationships to feel like you're not alone. Use the right lane to take exit 10B towards San Anita Avenue and South El Monte. When you, when you, learn, to, when you learn to love yourself, be with yourself, deal with yourself, overstand yourself, and interact with yourself, Man, let me tell you something. The sky, the sky is... Take the exit. Then turn left onto Lerma Road. The sky is the fucking limit, man. You know? At the next stop sign, turn left. Because you can be here today. You can be gone tomorrow. And the next thing you know, it's going to be a few people that's going to mourn over you here and there. But, you know, give it a week or two, man. They ain't gonna do shit but go back to their lives anyway, and you gone. So, you know, you live your life to your best ability. You live your life to the fullest for you. Stop worrying about what other people think about you. Stop worrying about what other people feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. You gotta worry about yourself, homie. You know? You got, you got, you got work. At the stop sign, turn left onto Lerma Road. Then turn right. You gotta worry about yourself. But on that note,